Welcome to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at jazztime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Chronograph Rose Gold 41mm reference 26320OR.00.1220OR.02. .or with a silver dial. I'm going to talk to you guys about the case, the bezel, the dial, the bracelet, the movement, tried on and give you my thoughts. So let's dive right in. As I said at the beginning of this video, this watch is 41 millimeters from the Royal Oak Collection. From my thumb to my index finger, that makes it the uh, the largest Royal Oak that Audemars makes. 41 millimeters. It's a pretty large watch. They also make this one, at least at the moment, in 37 millimeters chronograph. So if you're a man that likes to wear larger watches, then this would be it, this 41 millimeter. It's also the largest one you can get anyways. Now, the Roy this being the Royal Oak collection, from my thumb to my index finger is only 10.8 millimeters. That's very thin. That's actually thinner than a Rolex Datejust from my thumb to my index finger, which makes wearing the Royal Oak really pleasurable because it's thin and it fits under your souf cup cuff and it's not very intrusive. Okay, so let's talk about the next thing, which is the dial. The dial, they call, Audemars calls it a silver toned dial with grand tapestry pattern, pink gold applied hour markers, and royal oak hands with luminescent coating. Okay, what does all that mean? Well, if you look at the dial, it, to me, it actually kind of looks uh, like a mix, be, uh, like white or silver. Audemars calls it silver, so who are we to say otherwise? I'm just going to call it silver, but to me, it kind of just looks white. Uh, they also make this in blue, which is uh, a very a boutique edition. They also make it in black, so you got your choice. Black or white, usually the easier to get. Blue bean usually has a premium on it. I really like the white. I think it goes very well with the rose gold. And I kind of like white uh, dial watches because they're a little different. A lot of dials watches are black, kind of. So I like to change it up, and, and I like this white. I think it really goes well with this rose gold. Now, okay. At the beginning of this video, I told you it's rose gold. Audemars actually calls it a pink gold. I don't know if I like the word pink. Yeah, me being a man, pink kind of sounds gay. Well, I guess rose also sounds gay. So I don't know. Not that being gay is wrong, but I'm just not gay. So 18 karat, pink, gold, maybe they could have called it like copper gold or something more manly. Okay, anyways. All right, so the, the watch is has a chronograph feature, okay, and it, as you might expect, you just unscrew this top part right here. You start it. That's the start-stop. That gets that chronograph hand running. Stop it, and then reset. Okay, so you got you do have to unscrew and screw these back on these chronograph pushers. That's so that the watch uh, stays watertight when you do that. Not really that abnormal. Rolex Daytona does the same thing, uh, so it makes sense. Okay, anyways, now let's move on to the. You know, I, I guess I should show you something all about this case. Now I've showed it in my other videos. Now if you look at the polish on this case, it's absolutely incredible. That's one of the things that AP does incredibly. Now, if you look at the grains on it, they just do just the perfect size grains that are going down here on the brush finish. And then on the high polish, you see that it has that continuous line. It goes right where my pinky is pointing. Again, uh, where my pinky is pointing there on the bezel, it kind of alternates between brush and high polish. That absolutely looks amazing to me. I don't know of any other watch brand that has a polish quite like AP does. In fact, I think they're pretty much the best in the industry when it comes to that. It makes the watch glisten. Okay, so now let's talk about the bezel. The bezel is an octagonal bezel. Now what's interesting is the inside of the bezel is circular, whereas the outside is uh, octagonal. And it has these screws, which are actually white uh, gold screws, 
and also I guess I should say they use a grand tapestry now if you look at the how bi uh, big the, the w little waffles are those are called grand now on their offshore edition they, they call it mega tapestry I guess mega being bigger than grand or grande um, okay anyways that's the, nut, the the little waffles in it and, and to me it really gives it a nice 3d look to it I really like it okay now let's talk about the be uh, the bracelet now again AP really does an amazing job on the bracelet it's an 18 karat pink gold bracelet with AP folding clasp and if you look at the polish is of course absolutely amazing as you would expect from a watch that's uh, around fifty thousand dollars so it's brushed here on the outside and in between each link is a high polish and I'm trying to move it slowly so you can see that it's just absolutely incredible they're gold hallmarks actually you can see them at the edges and also I guess I could show you the hallmark here on the back the hallmark is also on the back now I guess since this brings us to the movement now you can't see the movement I wish AP would have allowed us to see it there's a picture of it on their website it's a self winding caliber 2385 it has 37 jewels 304 parts and a power reserve of uh, 40 hours so it's a really good movement basically uh, unfortunately you can't see it it does have a gold rotor I have no idea why they don't allow you to see it they build this incredible rotor and then they cover it seems really strange to me maybe there's not even a movement inside maybe it's Chinese who knows okay just kidding anyhow so I wanted to give you my thoughts and my thoughts for this watch are I'm a really huge fan of AP in general number one but number two um, I really like this watch in particular now before I start telling you my thoughts on this if you're watching this video and you're thinking about buying this watch please go to jazztime.com to buy this watch we make this video so customers like yourself will go to our website and buy it that's why I'm sitting here at 8 o'clock at night on a Tuesday while my wife is sitting at home asking me where I am so I'd really like for you to buy this watch from Jazz Time because that's how actually how we make a living and how we are able to bring these videos to you so yes you feel guilty if you don't buy this watch from us okay now as for my thoughts uh, my thoughts are this is really I, I if I could afford this watch it being around fifty thousand dollars I would buy it um, but unfortunately this is more money than my car so I can't do that but I do having reviewed thousands and thousands of watches um, I guess my opinion counts for something and this one the craftsmanship the name brand the design the thickness the comfortability the prestige the resale everything it's just the king of the heap there's really nothing better and the size and actually you know for fifty thousand dollars it's actually quite a bargain because i have this other very similar watch that i'm about to um, review which is the uh, paddock and this watch is like almost seventy thousand dollars and when it, when i put the two next to each other i'm just like AP is full gold bracelet and this paddock is just like a rubber bracelet. Are you kidding me? I would definitely take the AP. It make it would make no sense for me to buy this other one. So I'm just trying to tell you that uh, price wise, I think that uh, Audemar, you know, for 50k you get this gold bracelet. It's actually kind of a bargain if you if you compare it to its nearest rival paddock, which is selling you freaking rubber bands for even more money. So I mean you know relatively speaking now I guess if you want to compare it to his neighbor I'm about to review this watch too here this uh, Yachtmaster in all gold now this Yachtmaster gold goes for somewhere in the 30s you know AP is almost uh, 50 you know but you know a lot of people have Rolexes not a lot of people have APs so I guess you can spend 30,000 you probably could spend 50,000 I would think um, Anyways, my thoughts are this is a badass watch, and if you want to buy it, please go to jazztime.com, J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it, and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. 
If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.